Hello, fellow fleet and mobility players. So it's time once again for a brief global fleet interview with one of the key players in the market. Uh, with more than four decades in the automotive and financing industries, he has held leadership positions at Citibank, Daimler, Mercedes-Benz, BMW, and Tesla. And thereafter, he teamed up with Scott Painter, and together they founded Car as a Service Program, or Car as a Service Company, FAIR. And most recently, they founded Autonomy, the company that we're going to talk about today. So it's my pleasure to present to you George Bauer. So how are you doing, George? Wonderful. Thanks, Daniel. Thanks for the uh, kind introduction and thanks for having me. It's always a pleasure being with my friends from Global Fleet. As you know, uh, the fleet business has been near and dear to my heart throughout these 40 years. And again, thanks for the kind introduction. Very humbling. So pleasure to be with you today. No, pleasure to be with you as well. So yeah, yeah. So 40 years, a, a, lot, a lot of uh, experience talking today. So um, we just got a, a few few questions and um, that we're going to ask George. And I guess the first one I have is, um, George, how do you see the transition to electric vehicles in the United States? So when, when do you see it happening? Where mm -hmm. is it happening? And how will this happen? Yeah. And are you seeing any hurdles or obstacles in the industry? Yeah. Well, what, what, what a question that could cover hours and hours of reflection, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but we don't have that time. So let me start off by just simply saying there is no doubt that the future of transportation is electric, period. Over the last five to 10 years, there has been a lot of talk about battery powered vehicles, but there was only Tesla, the pioneer of sustainable transportation. This has changed dramatically over the last 24 to 36 months. Uh, now a flood of new, EV entrance is coming to market, offering a wide range of vehicles from sedans to SUVs to uh, pick, in pickup trucks, right? The most fundamental transformation in the 130 year old automotive industry is in full swing. The tipping point has been passed and it is irreversible. The momentum that's being picked up is, is amazing. So the next phase will be about scaling and volume. And we are well on the way. The stage is set for a play that you could title "Nothing Will Ever Be the Same Again," which is very exciting. Really offers yeah, opportunity it's exciting. Yeah. in this uh, in this transformation, uh, really paving the ground for entrepreneurs, for startups, and of course for the legacy OEMs alike. And let me start with the legacy OEMs. Uh, some have been a little more hesitant than others to join the electric party, but I haven't heard one saying, "I, I won't attend this party." So that they are, and I just read the number today. Uh, the legacy OEMs are coming with new EVs, 38 new EVs to market over the next uh, 24 months, 38. And there are about three dozen new startup electric vehicles uh, players coming to market and uh, have come to market, will come to market. You just look at their market cap. It's amazing. That's a bet on the, on the future. And last but not least, Tesla has you know, hit the, the $1 million, uh, $1 billion cars production mark. And so the momentum is there, it's irreversible. You talked about uh, hurdles. Yes, of course, there are hurdles. No transformation, no revolution of that nature uh, is, is smooth. Uh, but the, hurdle, the hurdles are not going to slow down this incredible transformation. The hurdles are maybe the price, affordability. Electric vehicles are still on the pricey side of, of vehicles. But this will change. As volume picks up, yeah, you said with the scaling, scaling, the, the price, scaling price takes place. Yeah. Yeah. Charging, infrastructure, charging infrastructure, yeah, that's not there yet. It's coming. Consumer uncertainty, it's a new technology, range anxiety, and all of those things together, you know, put a slowdown here and there. But overall, there is no question that we will see uh, electric vehicles being the main uh, transportation. Uh, over 10, uh, 20 years. And if you look at the legislative side, talk about the US for a second. If you have a president like we have now in the US that is not in denial of climate change, well, he announced, Biden announced a 50% uh, EV share by 2030 of all new car sales, 50 and 50%. 50 and uh, California always been ahead of, uh, you know, uh, uh, climate uh, minded, uh, is, is uh, in the process of uh, making formal that by 2035, 100% electric vehicles or alternative modes, but no fossil fuels anymore. So this is radical 
by any measurement and it's exciting to be a part of it because not only the transportation, the hardware will change, but also mobility. But I guess we're going to talk about it and uh, you will have some questions about yeah, what I'm doing. Those, those are bold um, um, objectives by President Biden. Let's see if it will happen. Um, but hey, it, it could happen. Um, I, want, I want to talk a little bit more about autonomy itself. So you, you, were, you, you were with autonomy here. And yeah. um, basically, we were, you were talking about the Tesla, because from what I understand, you have the Tesla Model 3 vehicle in your fleet. How, yeah. how many yeah. Tesla Model 3s do you have? And are you expecting to acquire other car models? Yes, uh, certainly. As I just pointed out, I mean, the, the, the space is going to be crowded and meeting uh, rising uh, fast, uh, uh, rising uh, demand on the consumer side. Uh, so uh, obviously Model 3 is uh, uh, still the market leader in many ways. Uh, and we launched Autonomy, our consumer facing brand uh, just four weeks ago. And we are at a great pace of uh, uh, two to three new subscribers a day who will soon be at a pace of 10 subscribers a day we have put in an order with Tesla for 500 uh, Model 3s in March, and uh, we will scale fast, rapidly, but in an orderly fashion. And we expect to be at a 10,000 uh, electric vehicles mark by the end of the year. So very exciting development with a brand autonomy that is already near and dear to my heart. And my partner, Scott Painter, has proven again uh, to be what I call him a brand magician. He has created amazing brands, Cars Direct, uh, a true car, fair, and I believe with autonomy, uh, we are doing it again. Uh, why? Because uh, I believe a brand has to transport something, has to transport a message, has to create an image. Uh, a, a, a brand should have some magic. And as far as mobility is concerned, I believe mobility is all about autonomy, about freedom. Mobility is about freedom from that. And why the mobility. name autonomy? Because because it it's, used to, George, used to be called Next Car yeah. Holding Company. And right, you yeah. branded under the name autonomy. Why, why the name autonomy? Oh, yeah, right. Thanks for reminding me because some people are yeah. thinking, well, isn't it, it well, that was Next Car? Well, Next Car was never meant to be our long term consumer facing brand. It was kind of like a placeholder while we were searching for a brand that I just explained that has some magic to it, where people say, yeah, I get it. Mobility should be about autonomy, should be about freedom. So we believe it's a perfect match for what we are doing with vehicle subscriptions in a digital, seamless, end-to-end, -end, paperless way and creating for the modern day consumer what he or she really deserves, freedom from debt, freedom from uh, long-term commitment, uh, freedom from uh, the hassle of owning a depreciating asset, uh, freedom from being stuck into a, a long-term commitment and, and all of those things that my old industry has done a great job uh, when it comes to digitization of the process at the point of sight. Really, autonomy is creating, saving time and creating freedom. That's why we believe the brand is a perfect match for what we are offering and what the com consumers desire and uh, deserve. And by the way, we believe subscriptions are the perfect match for electric vehicles. Uh, we can talk about this a little more if you would like to. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. So, you, like we said, electric electrification is, uh, is happening now. Autonomy, and like you said, the name of the company is autonomy. Autonomous vehicles. We got to look forward to that in the next um, few years, uh, coming pretty soon. And before I have, I just have like time for one more question. Uh, but before I do that, I just want to remind the visitors out there that mark your calendars because Global Fleet Conference 2022 is taking place from two to four. May from the second to the fourth of May in Lisbon, Portugal, and it's uh, it's on the coastal region of Cascais, so it's a nice place for global fleet managers and also suppliers to meet. And the focus this time around is sustainability. So hopefully we'll see somebody from Autonomy there and some of you visitors uh, and um, uh, people who are watching out there. Um, so I'm looking for I'm looking forward. For one, 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 <laughs> I have, sorry, what'd you say? I'm looking forward. After two years I hope I can meeting face to face and in person, let's make yeah, it happen again. Yeah, I hope again, I can right? see you there. So that of course, <laughs> of course this face to face <laughs> stuff is returning, and there'll be a lot at better. The, at, at, at the end of this pandemic, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hopefully, this is all over. 